Yesterday, we sent Matt to go check out the ISA Expo at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. The place is massive, and there are a ton of vendors featuring all sorts of technology relevant to our industry. At first, we weren't even planning on having somebody at ISA, but Eon Laser reached out saying they had something they really wanted us to see, and they offered Matt a room and his travel expenses paid to come and see it. So we sent Matt on his way to go check out what they had in store for us. So much traffic on the way to ISA. So much traffic on the way to ISA. We'll have more content to share about the convention soon, but we didn't want to delay the announcement of the brand new Red Line Machines from Eon. It was a big announcement and there was a lot to unpack here, so we'll start with some of the biggest differences between the Red Line Machines and the classic Mira and Nova lineups. Just to be clear, we're still going to be seeing and using the Mira and Nova monikers, but with a flashy new S added to the name to differentiate the Red Line models from the classic lineup. First off, these machines are fast. Like, really, really, really fast. They feature full AC servo motors that can drop 8 Gs of force in the blink of an eye. Speeds can be limited by the type of laser source you're using, but if you opt for a model with an RFCO2 laser tube, you could be looking at speeds upwards of 4,000 millimeters per second. That's Galvo scan speeds on a gantry laser. In an effort to support this massive upgrade, we're seeing familiar but refined linear guide rails and the ultralight laser head make a return from previous generations with a new design and a fresh coat of paint. Additionally, the mirror lasers are being treated to the Nova's super clean pack design in which the linear rails and bearing blocks are enclosed and behind a new curtain shield to keep your work area and the mechanics separate. The machine's chassis got a makeover as well, with a focus on rigidity to mitigate flexing of the machine due to the force of the gantry. This will be important for these machines since those servos appear to pack quite the wallop. It also seems like some of the models feature the ability to remove entire side panels for troubleshooting, which is something I think we can all agree is a welcome addition. If you haven't seen my mirror review, one of my only gripes about the machine was the lack of pass-through, which Eon is proud to have resolved since all the mirror models now feature pass-through, something I'm personally extremely excited about. For the Nova fans, they're sporting some new equipment as well. All models feature a built-in air compressor and air tank beneath the bed, plus if you opt for the RF tube, it's now got its own dedicated compartment. Eon has made a massive push to go toolless with the Redline lasers. In an effort to reduce the stress and inaccuracy of traditional tube mounting procedures, they've engineered a brand new modular tube docking system in which the laser source can be loaded in and out of the machine like the magazine of a rifle. You don't need a single tool to get the job done. The goal here is to make swapping to a replacement tube as fast and painless as possible, and it looks pretty damn cool. Not only is loading the tube in and out easier, Eon claims that with this system, you shouldn't have to worry about realigning the beam path between source swaps. I'd love to see this in practice, but if it really is that easy, this development would save users hours and hours of mirror alignment and adjustment time. Imagine a tube going out and simply grabbing another off the shelf and getting back to work. Eon also suggests that this would make it feasible to quickly and easily switch between different wattage tubes and in the future, even source wavelengths to allow processing of a multitude of materials. Fiber in a gantry machine from Eon? That's something I'd like to see. Other toolless advancements include mirrors, which can now be replaced without tools or recalibration, and their new lens cartridges. No more grub screws on those focal lenses. Instead, magnets hold the cartridge in place and the focal lens is press fit with a silicone washer, which keeps the bad stuff out of the laser head. To put a bow on everything else we've covered, it looks like Eon lasers are getting a little smarter too. We've seen the return of the laser bed camera and integrated autofocus, both of which I've become very accustomed to on my Mira, but they're taking it a step further with the addition of smart temperature sensors that monitor all of the machine's optics. This is brilliant. When a lens or mirror is dirty, it's going to absorb rather than reflect or transmit the laser beam, generating heat. 
These new sensors will make it possible to keep an eye on those temps during usage and avoid any issues that could cause downtime or affect performance. By the way, even if you pick up a Redline Mira, you're now going to have access to the Nova's 5-inch LCD display and keypad setup, which is nifty on its own. Dedicated buttons for common actions are available, plus you can monitor variables such as amperage, air pressure, and optics temps right on the controller. There's so much more to talk about here, guys. Leck gave Matt a great tour of the machine and Danny gave a whole presentation. We've got recordings of all of that and we'll publish those to the channel soon. But for now, this is what I wanted to make sure we got out there so that you guys could see all of the awesome advancements and innovations that are going on over at Eon. I'm really excited to check out one of these machines a little bit closer and Danny's invitations to go visit him in Florida are getting more and more tempting uh, the more I see of these. But for now guys, that's everything you need to know about the Eon Laser Redline series. We're definitely going to be talking about these more in the future. If you got value out of this episode, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload an episode. If you love this content, don't forget to head over to masters.lasereverything.net to sign up for the LMA. It's the number one way to support our channel and make sure that we can all stay here and continue making videos for you. It's our jobs and we love to do it and we want to keep doing it, so if you want to support us one more time, go check it out over at masters.lasereverything.net. I think that's all I've got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.